What's up guys? Welcome back. All right, so today I'm gonna go ahead and shoot styrofoam. I got 54 panels lined up. They're about a three quarter inch thick. And um, they were in a larger panel as you saw. I cut them in small pieces. And um, that's how thick they are. And we're gonna shoot them and see how many of these it takes to stop a bullet. I kind of compacted them together because I didn't want to deal with the mess going around uh, cleaning it up. I was a little tired today. So I was like, let me just do it this way. It'll be probably a little bit easier to clean up. Anyway, so also another thing, on the, uh, a couple of videos ago, I shot these um, RIPs. Okay, this is how they look. This is the company, the G2R that makes them, the RIPs. And a lot of you guys said they were, some of, some of you guys said they were 92 grain, some said it was 96. Uh, I haven't done my own research again. I gotta go back and check it. Somebody said they went to the website, it was 92 grain, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, so I didn't check on that video to see if these little petals, I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, these little petals that kind of flew off got separated from the bullet itself. I don't know if they, um, if they got separated leaving the barrel or uh, they, were, they got uh, separated uh, once it hit the target. So I'm gonna test that today. I'm gonna shoot this first and see if we get any results on the outside, uh, if it's gonna go uh, hit uh, around the Glock uh, logo. And then after I do this, I'm not gonna look for the pedals and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shoot the full metal jacket. This is the Federal 15 grain uh, full metal jacket. I'm gonna see how far deep, uh, how far down it goes, okay? And then once I shoot this, I'm gonna look for the little pieces of this, these pedals. And thank you for letting me know what these things were called. Okay, so let's get ready and shoot them, see what we get. My favorite gun, Glock 19, I'll be using this. And as I said, I'm gonna shoot the RIP 92 or 96 grain, not sure, gotta look it up again. And uh, because a lot of you guys have different things to say about it, so we'll find out what that is later. And let's see what happens. Clear. Okay. I don't see anything on the outside here. I only see the center uh, where it went in from. So they did not get separated from its uh, mothership. <laughs> I don't know, the bullet itself. So it probably got, uh, once it hit it, it started uh, splitting in different uh, parts. So we'll check that out once we kind of uh, hit it with the full metal jacket and see what happens. And again, we're shooting the full metal jacket from Federal. This is 115 grain. Oh, wow. Clear. It went all the way through. Interesting. Okay guys, so the full metal jacket and the RIP looks like came out too. There's a hole back here and I'm thinking this is the RIP that came out. Okay, we'll check on the uh, pedals later. Let me see if those came out, but then the bullet itself came out all the way. Okay, the full metal jacket uh, went through all of them and it did not stop. But it went right through our uh, one gallon bottle of water. So, that sucks we didn't catch up any of the bullets. But let's see what happened to the, to the RIP one. Let's see if we can see anything. So I shot the RIP right, around, right, uh, right there. Okay, I'm gonna start opening it and see if we see any results here. Okay, nothing. It did not open up. It kept going straight. You see that? Nothing happened here. Like how we hit the water. And the water, uh, when we hit the water, it got all split in different areas and we had little petals and uh, and two different bottles of water. But on this one, it kept going straight 
and on the full metal jacket it kept going straight they acted the same way almost okay maybe it's supposed to hit a little harder surface for it to open up we'll we'll test them out with some other stuff but it kept going and going let me see if i'm gonna skip through it and go still nothing no pedals anywhere else yeah Nothing, nothing. Nothing's going on. Still, we're all the way in the middle. And still, we have a continue with the full metal jacket and the RIP. Still nothing. And again, you saw the back. Uh, it went through all 54. Three quarter inch. Uh, styrofoam all right so those bullets literally didn't give us the results that i kind of wanted uh the rip didn't the pedals didn't get separated from the uh bullet itself and it kept going straight also the full metal jacket kept going straight so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna now move on to the hollow point since i have these out already i'm gonna use some of the hornady okay these are critical duty and i'm also gonna use some federal hsts flies around here these uh hornadies they're 135 grains i got them for 22 dollars okay and these guys are almost 30 dollars if i'm not mistaking there's no price on them but um 20 of them and these are the nine millimeter 124 grains okay so let's try these to see what we get and this is the one with the uh, polymer and this is uh, supposed to be a little bit better uh, going right through clothing and breaking through the uh, fabric. Okay? So this is the one that we're going to be shooting. Let's see what happens. I'm going to shoot a little bit to the right. Oh boy. <laughs> I wish I would have done that on the camera. Apparently these styrofoams are not good at all. It kept going through all of them. Okay. So, as you saw that, <laughs> it, is, it hit our water bottle. No sign of the bullet. There's a lot of candy from last time. The lollipops, but there's nothing in this thing. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and line up three four of these bottle waters and then I'm gonna shoot it again with the Hornady this time it's not leaving anywhere <laughs> I got four bottles of water I'm catching this sucker that was very disappointing okay Let's do this one more time. Clear? I better have cut this sucker. <laughs> okay. I got it, uh, but it's not how I wanted to catch it. It's right over there. Let me get some pliers and I'll get it out. All right, guys. So here's our, I don't think it's really in there that tight, but. So there's that. It's not how I wanted to catch it. I wanted to catch it in the water. They look better when they're in the water. Because once they hit a hard surface, they kind of uh, lose their pretty mushroomness. Alright guys, there you have it. Uh, I hope the, you guys enjoyed these results with styrofoam. Uh, I have to double the order just to see what happens. Um, but uh, those are your results. And uh, for coming up videos, I got us some liquid nitrogen. Don't ask me how I got it. I got it. 
you just enjoy uh, with the videos and see what I'm gonna do with it. I have a lot of cool ideas where I'm gonna uh, experiment with, with liquid nitrogen and uh, we're gonna have some fun with this stuff. And uh, those are coming up videos. I'm not sure when, maybe this week, next week. Uh, just have to wait and see. All right, you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later.